G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. In today's video, we're gonna be having a close look at the Cade 500. The Cade 500 is the smallest of the Cades that comes on a cabinet. This one has also got a caddy. We're gonna be setting it up today with lighting, water flow, wave makers, etc., And we're gonna show you exactly how we go about setting up this awesome little tank. So this is the Cade 500 and it's roughly 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And as you can see, it's sitting on the cabinet alongside a Cade Caddy. Now we're gonna be having a look in the cabinets in a sec, but for now you can see that we've already got our Shed Boy Aquascape and we've got our coral sand. So we'll have a look around the back and we'll show the plumbing on this little reef tank. In a lot of ways, the Cade 500 is very similar to the larger models of the Cade. And we have our return uh, line here. So the pump is gonna be in the sump down here, feeding up to the top, but we also have a single manifold point and we're gonna be using that for a chiller, which is gonna sit in the caddy. We also have our automatic top-up reservoir. Now that's in the back here, up the top, and it feeds down to a little float valve underneath and we've got our two drainage lines. So this is all set up, all ready to fill, but before we fill it, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna set up the return pump and the protein skimmer, um, so it should be all ready to go. But there is one other little thing that we'll have a look at whilst we're here. Now that's a power board. We've got our single uh, power cord that we'll plug in a sec, but in this door here, you can see we have our power board, and that's where we're going to attach from the inside, all of our equipment, and we've got our switches just here. So it's a really neat little feature of the Cades, and the Cade 500 also has this feature. So this is the equipment we're going to be installing on the Cade 500 today. We've got an Octo uh, protein skimmer, we've got a Radeon XR15 Blue with a mounting kit, we've got two MP10s, a Red Sea Reef dose. But we're gonna start with the return pump first. It's a Vectra S2. So let's put this on the tank. So we've actually put a Gallery Aquatica barb onto the Vectra S2. And we've chosen this one because it's the perfect size for the Cade plumbing. Um, and it's just a very easy and neat way to couple the Vectra S2 onto the Cade 500. We've got a little plastic hose clamps. So these are really good. They attach very easily. And being plastic, they don't rust. So we'll put this back on and then do that up. And we've already got one on the top. So at some point, we'll have our controller mounted in here. Now they do come with a little mount that you can screw onto this board, or you can use double-sided tape. So put this back through here, connect that. Power supply. So as a rule, I always put the return on the front top and there's a power supply. Plug it in. Okay. So that's our return pump sorted. We might put a zip tie around the, uh, uh, the hose here just so that it stays in place. Although I think we've actually got a, uh, a hose clamp, don't we? Let's find that. Yeah. All right, return pump done. So now we're gonna do the light. This is my favorite part because we have got Radeons, or Radeon XR15 Blue. So this is gonna be an absolutely beautiful light for this tank. I'm gonna take the Cade jump net off, 
and there's our Radeon. It's a beautiful piece of kit. So here we go, we've got our XR15 RMS in place and with this light mount you get two options for the arm that comes out here. This is the shorter one and we opted for the longer one and the longer one was definitely the one to go for. You can see we now have got our light mounted perfectly which for me is just rear of centre. Um, you can see we've got a slightly larger space to the front than we do from the back. And that's because our structure is going to be slightly towards the back. Uh, I also love the fact that on this Cade 500, we've got this perfect little cutout that allows us to put this mount on and really secure it in place. Now you also get this little black, I'll put it here for one sec, this little black cover and it's going to cover up this but they make it a little bit bigger than you need. So I'm just gonna cut it down. It's not the neatest, but that'll do. And that will then go on like so. All right, we'll tidy up our cords. This will go back like so. And there you have it. Our XR15 is mounted beautifully. <laughs> seawater that we've collected ourselves. We're going to turn on the power to our Vectra S2. I'm going to turn it down to a low flow. I always like to start off on a slow speed, make sure it's all working and there's no leaks or anything before I then turn it up. I've also opened up the gate valve on the, drain, the main drain all the way open. Um, so we've got some movement and now I'll just Add some more water by the sounds of it. All right. Not quite enough water, so I'll put in a little bit more natural sea water. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the return back on. That should be enough water in the system. So this Vectra S2 is well and truly overpowered for the size of the tank, but that's actually good because we are gonna run a manifold point off and we probably want to have 500 liters an hour going through that. So even at a low flow, I think that this is going to be the right flow for our return until we start using that chiller. Um, however, we do need to tune, we need to tune the drainage. So we're going to close off that uh, gate valve on the main drain. So I'm just slowly closing the gate valve off to silence the noise out of this overflow. And before we leave, we'll have this perfectly silent. But just whilst I'm waiting for it to tune in properly, I'm going to fill the RO reservoir in the back. Now this is not the best way of doing it, but this is how I am going to do it today. So 
So typically I'd bring a little pump with me and I would pump the RO water in here or if I remember to bring like a five litre jug, that's the best way, you just use a jug and get it in there perfectly. But this is how I'm gonna fill it up today. <laughs> At least I won't spill a drop apart from what I spilled down there. So this is our Octo 110 and it is an awesome skimmer for this size tank. And one of the things I like about them, they're very compact, they pull great skim, they're very quiet, uh, they're easy to tune. Um, so this one is rated to 420 litres or something like that. And it is exceptionally good value for a small tank like this. Um, we'll plug it in and turn it on, but we'll probably turn it off this tank uh, hasn't had water in it and we've got the dry sand and the dry rock. It'll probably make this skimmer go a little bit crazy. Plus, we don't really want it to pull out any beneficial bacteria. So we'll turn it on for a few minutes and we'll turn it off, just see how it goes. So we've got our skimmer skimming and we're just going to uh, hook up our chiller, which we'll have a look at in a sec in the caddy. But this is the manifold point. I've pulled it off so that I can most easily get our 16 mil hose onto it and I'll put it back in place. We're not gonna run the chiller, but I just wanna have it hooked up just in case the manifold gets bumped open. We don't want uh, water on the ground. Okay, I'll go through from here. Now I think uh, anyone that's watched a video of Gallery Aquatica TV would know I'm a big advocate for having your chillers outside of cabinets. And the reason why uh, I don't mind this one being in the cabinet is because it's very easy to take off these doors from the caddy so that it can breathe. And in fact, we've already taken off the door from the back and the door from the side here, which allows us to have an open area straight into the cabinet underneath the tank. Um, so we can certainly open up, take off these doors if we need to in summer. But you can see we've got our hose from the manifold. It's gonna go onto uh, this point here, which is our in, and then from our out, back into the sump. Okay. Okay, so, on there, and we'll just feed this in with a bit of slack. We'll probably work out a neater way in the future this hose okay so that is as much as we're going to do with it now but our chiller is effectively set up I think we'll hold that yeah that will good about that okay beautiful that's it. So another uh, benefit of these cave systems is you get these media baskets and we're going to put our media basket, we're gonna fill them with Marine Pure. So we've got these spheres. I'm gonna put them in now because we want to start the bacteria populations developing on our biological media. Probably could have put them in before we put the water in because they float a little bit first. But these are a highly porous media and they're excellent because we want the most space effective or space efficient media possible. And these are gonna be perfect.
Alright. Alright. The last thing we're going to be putting on our Cade 500 today is going to be the Wave Makers. Now we've got two MP10s and being Ecotech, they run off the same app as our light and return pump. And of course, the Ecotech MP10s are beautifully discreet and a really uh, easy uh, wave maker to program with the app. But the best thing of all is that you've got your wet side, which is the only thing in the tank. The dry side with the cable, of course, is outside the tank, and they're really perfect for a little system like this. We're gonna put one on either side. Um, the, the position of the wave makers is something that I always think about, but it's very easy to move them as we put corals in the tank. And for now, we're just gonna put them, uh, one at the top, back, one at the bottom front, uh, and just have them set on a low speed to start off with. As we add corals, we'll certainly change their position and the program. So there you go. We have completed the installation of our Cade 500 and let's just have a bit of a look at exactly what we've done. So first of all, we've got our Radeon XR XR15 Blue mounted beautifully above the tank. The single arm mounts are really the perfect way to have your Radeon mounted above a, like, uh, a tank like this. We've still got our net cover on the tank and we've got RO in our RO reservoir to feed into the sump to uh, compensate for water loss through evaporation. You can see our Shed Boy Scape in there. The dust and uh, uh, off the sand and off the rock has clouded the water a little bit, but that'll clear up quite quickly and it'll look beautiful. Such a nice aquascape in the tank. We've got our two MP10s. We've set them to just a basic program. We'll do more with those in the future when we've got fish and corals in the tank, but let's look underneath. So first thing you notice, we've got a rat's nest here. Now this will be the next phase of the, of the build with this tank. We'll move our power supplies and controllers into the section to the right where we've got our uh, power points. And you can see we've got our Octo 110 and Marine Pure Bioballs just to the right. The uh, tube or the hose that you can see that feeds into the other side comes off the manifold point. And in here, this is where we can also put some of our power supplies. And in fact, this might be a, a better area for uh, the wave makers. We could have our controllers mounted here. The, behind the false door, we've got our uh, chiller. Um, it's a Halia 150, I think. And the one thing which we didn't get time for today, our dosing pump. And we're not gonna worry about the dosing pump until there's actually corals in the tank. So that's a little while off. We'll probably mount it up here with our vessels down the bottom. So that is it for our installation of the Cade 500. I think this is gonna be a really interesting tank to watch in the future. Uh, we do lots of big tanks, but it's really nice to do uh, a beautiful little system like this one with the Cade 500, the Caddy, and all the cool equipment. So that's it for today's, for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!